I've been working on my own voxel engine for a while now and I've posted a lot of videos about it. There's a comment that I get often from people and it goes something like, why bother making your own engine when there are already a lot of good engines like Unreal Engine 5? And well my answer is usually, because I want to. I love to learn and try new things. But it did get me wondering, is my engine better than Unreal? I mean, my engine was made just for voxels, while Unreal can do everything. And you know what they say, a jack of all trades is a master of none, right? The thing is, I'm not even sure my engine is a master of voxels, so... <laughs> we will see today. The first thing I wanted to test was to see if Unreal can render high resolution voxel maps considering the high poly count. I created a voxel mesh in Blender with 2.2 million vertices and placed it in Unreal. Just as I expected, Unreal had no problems at all. Moving the mesh around the map kinda got a little laggy sometimes, but once it was placed it caused no problems at all, even two of them was fine. So when it comes to mesh rendering, Unreal wins by far. My ray tracer has trouble rendering too high detail voxels because of the amount of steps it has to take for the rays to traverse it. But then again, it's a ray tracer so I guess it's kind of justified. And I mean, I could make a renderer just as good as Unreal, but I don't want to put Unreal Engine out of business, you know? So that's the main reason why I don't do it. Trust me. Also, Unreal offers collisions for these meshes already, and it seems super efficient as well, unlike my collisions that I had to make myself and were kind of laggy sometimes. So I guess that's another win for Unreal. But from my experience with voxels, the hardest part is not rendering but loading the voxels. Creating or updating meshes mean that you have to send the data to the GPU and that can create lag. Trying out basic world gen in Unreal showed decent results but it was still kind of slow. There's nothing wrong with being a little slow, I mean I am kind of slow sometimes but generating a big map at this rate would take a while. Also it's still just a basic flat world. Not that there's anything wrong with the flat world, but we all know that the earth is actually shaped like a donut, so if I introduce 3D world gen, it gets even slower. However, if you look at the meshes, you can see each voxel there. Voxels that are touching each other can be grouped together in the mesh to reduce the poly count and be created faster using a simple greedy meshing algorithm. Let's try that. Heck yeah, that's quite a bit faster. You can see the meshes have less polygons now, so they can spawn faster and it probably also helps with the rendering. However, that's pretty much equal to my engine in terms of loading speed. My engine loads the voxels in a shader ready buffer, which is then used for the rendering and editing, unlike my current Unreal setup that loads them in chunks and meshes, which means that if I want to edit the map for destruction, I would have to update all of the meshes and create another lag spike. So I would actually say that's kind of a win for my engine. The only way I found to create a custom mesh at runtime in Unreal was using the procedural mesh component and that wasn't ideal for voxels. One major feature used by voxel engines is a LOD system to spawn chunks far away at a lower resolution. I was able to code that in pretty well I think and even made the LOD update as you move around. However, that caused some glitches and lag. That might be a problem on my part though, but <laughs> we're not gonna talk about that. There are still no textures, no destruction, enemies or anything like that and it's already getting kinda hard to do it with Unreal. Because it's just not made for voxels, like it works, but it's just not made for that. I can also imagine that this changing LOD system would also cause collision issues for enemies far away when the LOD change. So I guess Unreal is still pretty good, but I don't think it's made to handle millions of voxels like this. Surely there's a way to do it, I've seen videos of people who have made pretty impressive voxel games in Unreal. But an engine made purely for voxels has more maximum potential. Do I have the skills required to make my engine reach that max potential? Well, max isn't my name, so probably not. At the end of the day, I'm doing this for fun, I'm not trying to create history here. In conclusion, is Unreal Engine 5 a viable engine to make a voxel game? Yes. Am I going to switch to Unreal Engine 5? No. Why? Because I hate myself and making my own engine is just way more of a pain.